The core flaw lies in the assumption that dutasteride is a harmless substitute, which it is definitely not. Finasteride and dutasteride belong to the same pharmacological family and share structural similarities. Their individual biochemical footprints differ, but their hormonal silhouettes overlap. More importantly, dutasteride is far more potent. It blocks almost 95% of your DHT. Whereas finasteride blocks only 65 and DHT is not a trash hormone as you may think. Dutasteride suppresses both type 1 and type 2 5 alpha reductase and this leads to deeper and longer lasting hormonal suppression. Recommending a stronger drug because the milder one cause side effects or discomfort is like trying to demolish an anthill with an artillery gun. More force is the last thing the situation demands. And the problem is not just biochemical, it is also an ethical problem. The just shift to dutastride mindset reduces medicine from a lighthouse of reasoning to a flickering lantern guided by convenience or commercial opportunism. Patients want a quick substitute and some doctors for various reasons feel pressured to give one and the marketplace adds its own momentum towards this escalation from finasteride to dutastride. But easy medicine as we all know is bad medicine.